Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On, and this is the latest episode of Match Preview Battle this week for the Stoke away game. However, first of all, of course, as always, we have to go and look at last week's results and see how they affected the Match Preview Battle League table. So last week, uh, it was Reese against Emma for the Manchester United Match Preview Battle game. And I can tell you that with 15 points each, it was another draw. Wow. Another draw. Reese, how do you feel about that? Um, I thought I'd lost, so, you know, sort of pleasantly surprised. So always, okay. always slightly glass half empty and then surprised when you... When it yeah. turns out the glass is just half. That's my vibe, yeah. Yeah, okay, great. <laughs> so that draw means they get a point each, obviously. So the league table currently looks as follows. In third place, having played for 1-0, drawn three and lost one, is Emma Story. She's got three points and a plus 48 goal difference. Craig, why are you, you you're laughing at that? Yeah, I'm smirking. Interesting. <laughs> uh, because in second place, uh, just behind Emma, uh, just ahead of Emma, sorry, <laughs> sorry, Craig, uh, with played four, won one, drawn two, lost one, five points and a plus 45 goal difference, Craig Mitch. It's a good goal difference. Yeah, it's a good GD. Uh, and top place, though, of the league, currently uh, played four, won two, drawn one, lost one, Seven points and a plus 43 goal difference is Reese James. Boy. So right here, a chance for him to pull even further ahead. Currently uh, two points ahead of the top of the league uh, is Reese James. So, like I said, this one is for the Stoke game. As always, the first thing we do is go for the score prediction and the scorers. So Craig Mitch, what will the score be and who is going to score? The score will most definitely be 2-0 to Spurs. They're not scoring Stoke. How are they going to score? They've already got their flip-flops on, their suntan lotion. They're prepared for their <laughs> holidays while we've got something to play for. And Jan Vertonghen is back. The Belgian bromance has been resurrected and they're not going to let in goals. Eric Dyer is not about that life. His yellow cards, they're out the window. They're gone. He can't be suspended. So he's going to get stuck in and make those tackles. 2-0. Who's going to score? It's going to be Harry Kane and it's going to be Christian Eriksen. He's due one. Okay, so 2-0 to Spurs at Stoke with Harry Kane and Christian Eriksen. Reese James, how do your hate Hastily put together score predictions and scorers match up against that? Uh, they don't match up. I've gone for 4-1. Now, the reason I've done that, I know it's Stoke away, I know that's a tough fixture. The reason I've gone for 4-1 is because I read a stat that that is the most common Spurs scoreline this year. Ooh! 4-1. Really? And that might be a white heart lane. Isn't the stat for later? But yeah. That might be, well, I've got different stats for later. Oh, 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 oh. I'm full, full of stats. stats. Full of stats. Um, He's full of something, definitely, uh, but also stats. Uh, Spur. 4-1. Uh, 4-1. Also, <laughs> I've realised the way you play this game is, like, if I just, like, list loads, I could go 8-0, list all the scorers, I'm bound to get it right. <laughs> Mate, this ain't a game, yeah? This is more than a game. But you're going to lose points by, I mean, maybe we'll win 4-1, but if you do 8-0, then you'll lose points for definitely not, you know, you'll lose. But I, you there's a point. more, in playing the averages, Mate, there's more chance of getting points Interesting. for Interesting. So Reese has found a loophole in the format. Oh, Very baby. Interesting. And he's double the league. Very right. interesting. So My who's going to score in, your, in our 4-1 win? Kane, Ericsson, Ali, Dyer. So you should pick four different players to kind of Kane, yes. Ericsson, even out his chance. That is exactly what Dyer. I've done. The Play the averages, so, mate. He's playing the averages, but also I hope he's right. I hope he gets four points for that. And Arnautovic will score for that. Arnautovic for that. Like Stoke. he did last time. And Dyer scored last time we played him. Okay, interesting. More all right. stats. All right, mate. So either way, most important thing, just stop moving so much because that chair is squeaking a lot, Reese. Okay? I'm passionate. I'm a passionate guy. Yeah. Okay, I'm playing the sweet averages. The averages of how much this chair will squeak. Yeah, it's squeaking a lot. Uh, okay, so next up is where we predict the team selection. I fear this one could be quite easy, so I'll go to Reese first. Unchanged. Okay, so unchanged, that means uh, Hugo Lloris in goal, Carl Walker, Jan Vertonghen, Toby Alderweireld, Danny Rose, Eric Dyer, Moussa Dembele, Eric Lamella, Deli Ali, Christian Eriksen, and Harry Kane. And what do you think, Craig, uh, Craig Mitch? Do you know what? Unchanged. Unchanged. Exactly the same. So that's a very simple segment of the show. They both think we've found our first 11, probably for the rest of the season, yep. barring injuries. Mm. And of course, suspensions of the amnesty, as you said, has gone now. So uh, suspension should be fine. All right, let's go into memories. Craig Mitch, what's memories of the Stoke games? <laughs> it can only have? be one, really. Bell's volley against Stoke at the Britannia in 2010. Made the match of the day. Intro for years. 
What a goal. What a goal, mate. It's still probably one of the best goals in the last 10 years. Probably the most talked about goal on this channel. It's a wonderful say. goal, yeah. It's, it's a lot over the years. It's probably yeah. time, I mean, over the years, we've only been going less than a year, but Craig Mitch has already mentioned that three times in three Stoke uh, match previews. Yeah, so I let's have. see if Reese, who's new to the match preview game, can come up with some more memories, some new memories. Um, well, that is one of them. Yeah. Obviously, also the 2 2, where Toby made his only ever mistake his in his first shirt his only earlier ever in the error. season. And he admitted um, it, he said. And I he did, did admit it, yeah. yeah he 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 came out and he said, uh, I didn't make a single mistake with Southampton last year, so I'm shocked. Yes, that I've he made was a shocked. For Spurs. It was yeah. quite an arrogant interview, but it, we loved it. Yeah. And he has proven that correct. Also, obviously, Dyer scored, and then obviously, Bale's, Bale's goal. Yeah. And there's very few other that really stick out in the memory for me. Terrific. Okay, fantastic. Let's go on to stats. Uh, Craig's already come in. What was it? You've come in with a stat already? I've given a, I've given a couple of stats. Came in with an early sure. stat. So let's see how Craig matches up with a with a stat here. Um, unfortunately, it's a negative stat. Mm. Since Poch's arrival, we are yet to beat Stoke in the Premier League. But all that means really? is things can change. Well, yeah. We're due something. I believe that you're sometimes we're just yet due to things. beat Man United under Poch as well. Ah. And we hadn't beaten them at home for 15 uh, years. And also, but that does remind me, actually, last year, the back in the last season when uh, we were still vaguely fighting for fourth, but we went to Stoke and we lost 3-0, I think. So that wasn't a good... Yeah. But that won't happen again. We're new Spurs, as we well know. Yeah. Uh, so, Reese, what, what's your, your other stat? Um, the average dribble success rate in the Premier League this year is 56.5%. The average Moussa Dembele dribble success rate in the Premier League this year is 91.7%. So the best dribbler... Ever. Uh, I not don't really know Stoke that related. Is but, yeah. stat. No, it's not Stoke related. Well, it is, because if he related. dribbles 91% successfully against Stoke, then that makes it Stoke related. Yes, exactly. Oh, so we can just take general stats in and say if they do that in the next game, then it applies to it's that. It's not even a competition, this little bit. So I'm, yeah. I'm just saying, want. I thought that was the whole premise of it. We can get I'm, a Stoke related stat. Okay, right, cool. No, you can, you, know, you can relate it any way you choose, but that is. Can you deny that that is no, a great stat? I was stat? just clarifying. I didn't know. I okay, gave cool. my Stoke related stat earlier, man. Yeah, you did. Oh, you did. All right. Yeah, anyway, yeah. so well done, Moussa Dembele, the king of dribbling. Uh, fantastic. He okay, is. so this is the point, guys, where we look at to, uh, into the other match in the Premier League that affect the table around us, the top five or six, and they have to predict them as well for points too. So these are the matches I'm going to ask you to predict. Manchester United versus Aston Villa, Chelsea versus Manchester City, Leicester versus West Ham, and Woolwich versus Crystal Palace. I'm going to come to Reese James first. What have you got down for these matches this weekend? So Man United will beat Villa 2-0. Mm, they need to bounce back. Low score. Um, Considering Villa have lost their last eight. Yes, Villa will definitely lose and won't score, but United are so boring and crap. Okay. Uh, Chelsea versus City, I think, will be 2-1 to City. Mm, away it's win. at Chelsea, yeah. Uh, Leicester v West Ham, I'm being ex quite hopeful. The big one. I'm not being too hopeful, though. I'm going 2 all. Okay, that would be okay. That would be okay. Yeah. Uh, and Arsenal will be Palace 3-0, again, minimum. Depressing. Okay, Craig Mitch, what do you think? Quite similar, quite similar. Manchester United versus Aston Villa. I've gone for Manchester United 3-0. Mm -hmm. I mean, Villa, come on, they're just yeah, yeah. They're dog crap. Uh, Chelsea versus Manchester City. I've gone for 2-1 City as well. The same. Leicester versus West Ham. A score draw, 2-2 two -two as well. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah, you can see it right there. And Leicester, Leicester, who haven't conceded in five games, and you both have them down to concede two. West so Ham scoring a lot. You have Payet to score. I mean, all thought. he needs is a free kick. Yeah. <laughs> then yeah. in Casper Schmeichel, yeah. you know, they can't really do it. It's all Andy Carroll these days yeah and okay. um arsenal palace free one arsenal unfortunately mm, i think very palace will similar. get a goal okay because so, arsenal are a bit silly so but very very, very similar, similar. Uh, and now we go into the part where we are we, we see how those results will affect the league table so how does the league table look after this week all right according to you, so after my uh predictions a leicester will be at the top still obviously on 73 points then you'll have tottenham hotspur in second place with 68 Arsenal will be third on 62, Manchester City fourth on 60, and Manchester United fifth on 56. So it's as you were, apart from Leicester, where we've closed the gap a bit. What I love about that particularly is it shows how much of our content you've been watching, because usually we go from fifth upwards, and he's gone from first downwards. So Reece, which way are you going to do it? Uh, well, it's obviously exactly the same. We had the same match predictions. So do you want me to go through it again? Yeah. Okay. But from fifth <laughs> upwards. I want you to go from fifth upwards, just to make it hard for the editor. Cool. And when you look at the analytics of this video, this will be the moment everyone switches off. Uh, in sixth, West Ham on 53. Mm -hmm. West Ham? Why have you included... Okay. We've got a West Ham 
Yeah. Fixture in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just wrote them off. In <laughs> fifth, Man United on 56. Yeah. In fourth, City on 60. Uh, in third, Arsenal on 62. Second, Spurs, the mighty Spurs on 68. And first, Leicester on 73. So these boys are saying just five points behind with four games to go. Yes. Let's make it squeaky bum time. Let's make Good it Devon it. Lock in the Grand National. Let's make them Come collapse on. at the Come end. Come on. Anything can happen, boys. Come on. Let us know what your predictions are in the comments box. Let us know what you thought of their predictions. Were they right? Were they wrong? Drop the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, you West Ham this weekend. Hello, welcome to this week's episode of Spurvert. As usual, I am here with Emma and Craig. Now, this week we're going to be talking about, obviously, the United performance. Great result. Lamella's game of two halves. Uh, Jan slotting back into the starting team seamlessly. 